Ladies and gentlemen, I want to thank one of my subscribers. I'll just call him JG for this article from Forbes, July 19th, 2018. Diseases of despair <clears throat> contributed to declining U.S. life expectancy. According to a preliminary data for you know, this came from the Center for Disease Control 2017, will likely mark the third straight year of decline in U.S. life expectancy. It's not all bad news. However, as cancer deaths are declining, nonetheless, deaths from other major causes, including heart and lung disease, stroke, Alzheimer's, diabetes, and suicides, have been rising and deaths from unintentional injuries, including drug overdoses, are soaring. In 2015, Princeton economist Ann Case and Angus Deaton first pointed out a disturbing trend disproportionately impacting white middle-age uh, Americans. Specifically, they highlighted three diseases of despair, drug abuse, alcoholism and suicide. According to the CDC in 2016, alcohol abuse was linked to 88,000 deaths, more deaths than guns, opioids, and even HIV, AIDS at its peak. Drug-related deaths were at 63,500, which we know they're downplaying the number. Two-thirds of these involved opioids. Almost 45,000 suicides were recorded. Increases in death due to diseases of despair are contributing to life expectancy in the U.S. No, it, it's, it would have to be millions of people for that to be impacted. That's what I'm trying to tell you. 88,000 deaths, 63,000 deaths, and 4,500 deaths would never impact. That's not enough people to impact life expectancy. That number would have to be in the millions for it to make a difference. That's why I'm telling you they are lowballing all of these numbers. Um, the Surgeon General stated that drug and alcohol abuse are costing the U.S. $442 billion annually. That's a lot of damn money. The opioid plague alone, illicit and prescription opioids, is costing as much as $500 billion a year. And the annual cost of suicide attempts and suicides is over $90 billion. What is being spent by the federal government to avert deaths of despair? The opioid plague has taken center stage in political and policy debates on public health. As a result, state and federal legislators, as well as the Trump administration, have stepped up funding. In fiscal year 2018, the federal omnibus bill adds $3.3 billion to address the opioid plague, in addition to $500 million earmarked in the 21st Century Cure Act. Okay. Nonetheless, the total sum pales in comparison to the annual budget for HIV AIDS, which was $32 billion. Well, that's because of who is going through the addiction. That's the only reason why all this money is being thrown into it. And it's all in vain because it's not getting anybody off of drugs. So... Diseases of despair, huh? But please tell me what you think, ladies and gentlemen. Please leave your comment and subscribe. Don't forget to hit on the notification bell. And if you can support my channel, please do. Your support is always helpful, you know, because, you know, I am not working. This is what I do. And I enjoy bringing this to you on a regular basis. And I want to continue to do so. Peace, family.